Who needs superpowers when you can just wear one of these? Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 comic book power armors. I never shy away from a fight. Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. For this list, we're taking a look at the power armors worn by comic book superheroes and villains, which give them the strength, speed, and firepower to even the odds against more powerful foes. Our emphasis will be on power armors that truly put their users on the level of superhumans, as opposed to the usual capes and tights costumes. Number 10, Superboy Prime Armor, Superboy Prime. Inspired by the armor worn by the Anti-Monitor, one of the DC Universe's most powerful superheroes turned villains, Superboy Prime arguably became a foe of equal magnitude. Essentially serving as a makeshift energy collector, Superboy Prime's power suit imbues him with yellow sun radiation, which magnifies his already impressive superpowers to godlike levels. How godlike? Well, he was able to single-handedly take on the likes of Martian Manhunter, the Teen Titans, and a whole slew of the Green Lantern Corps. It took the combined efforts of two supermen to destroy the armor, and they had to hurl it through a red sun in order to dispose of it. Number 9. Yellow Jacket Suit Yellow Jacket Originally created after Hank Pym accidentally exposed himself to some unknown gases and contracted a very severe case of schizophrenia, the Yellow Jacket armor would go on to play an important role in the Ant-Man mythos. In addition to possessing the shrinking and growing powers typical of the Pym particles, the Yellow Jacket armor also granted its wearer flight via artificial wings. Bio-sting gloves that fire bolts of bioenergy and the ability to communicate with insects were also important additions to the costume. A more modernized version of the Yellow Jacket armor was worn by Darren Cross in the 2015 Ant-Man movie, which featured somewhat similar armaments along with a much more villainous design. <laughs> Number 8. Azrael's Batsuit Azrael After Batman's spine is shattered by Bane during the Nightfall saga, Bruce Wayne turns the mantle of the Bat over to Jean-Paul Valet, also known as Azrael, until he recovers. However, JP quickly decides that the bat suit needs to be modified in order to better suit his more ruthless crime-fighting style. After designing new clawed gauntlets that fire shuriken-like batarangs, John Paul fashions his own armored bat suit that features lasers, a high-beam signal light, bulletproof plating, and even a flamethrower. During John Paul's tenure as Batman, this suit underwent several evolutions and eventually began to resemble the original Azrael costume. But ultimately, Bruce Wayne returned to reclaim the cape and cowl and left this one in the closet. Number 7. Doom Armor – Doctor Doom no. While most characters who make use of power armors typically go through several models, Doctor Doom knocked his out of the park with the first try. Although the Latvarian leader does occasionally adjust his suit depending on his opponent, the armor has remained virtually the same throughout his history. That is a testament to how powerful it truly is and how much the artists like the design. <clears throat> A menacing mixture of magic and state-of-the-art technology, Doom's armor is equipped with electroshock defense systems, jetpacks, numerous energy blasters, force fields, a neural disruptor, and much more. Since his greatest adversaries frequently outnumber him <laughs> 4 to 1, it makes sense that Doctor Doom would create armor that would allow him to defeat multiple superpowered foes. I am not a tyrant. I am their savior. Look around you. Everyone here is free. Number 6, Scarab Armor, Blue Beetle. But Garrett still inspired Ted to become the second Blue Beetle, even with no superpowers. I hear those are optional. Although Ted Cord is widely considered to be the quintessential Blue Beetle, Jaime Reyes took the persona to new heights thanks to his Scarab Armor. Originally designed to be a weapon of intergalactic conquest, the Scarab Armor has awesome qualities. Its wearer gets beetle wings for flight, superhuman strength and agility, energy bubbles, a grappling hook, which why would you need if you had flight but who cares, and a variety of melee weapons like swords and blades. The armor also bestows Blue Beetle with a second sight of sorts, allowing him to gather information on his enemy's weaknesses, and in more life-threatening situations to activate an infiltrator mode that increases his size, strength, and ferocity. <laughs> Surrender now, Evil Star, or face the wrath of the Armored Avenger, Blue Beetle! Number 5. War Machine Armor War Machine Put your hand down. You think you got what it takes to wear that suit? We don't have to do this, Tony. You want to be the War Machine? Take your shot! Put it down! After a successful stint as Tony Stark's stand-in for Iron Man, Jim Rhodes began his own superhero career wearing a suit specifically designed for him by Stark. Clad in a more intimidating color scheme and packing more firepower than any previous Iron Man suit, War Machine's armor lives up to its name in terms of its destructive capabilities. Outfitted with rocket launchers, repulsors, a twin chain gun, a flamethrower, and much more, 
War Machine's vast arsenal is enough to single-handedly take on a small army. Combined with the former Marine's knowledge of both armed and unarmed combat, and the War Machine armor makes Rhodey just about invincible. Number 4. Spider Armor Mark I Spider-Man A laser built right into your armor? It's my own design. I only wish I was able to bring my giant spider robot on this mission with us. Did he say his giant spider robot? Desperate times call for desperate measures, even when you're Spider-Man. Although we could have gone with the later Iron Spider armor, we've chosen to highlight Spider-Man's original armored suit featured in Web of Spider-Man number 100. When a group of criminals called the New Enforcers attacks New York, packing high caliber firepower, Spider-Man realizes his classic costume doesn't offer enough protection. So the Web Slinger designed this silver and black armor, made from a metallic compound he created himself for added protection. This spider armor made Spider-Man bulletproof, but its weight reduced his speed and agility. Despite its limitations, though, the armor withstood a tremendous amount of damage before meeting its demise. What were you thinking? Hey, relax. This'll all work out. Things always do. Number three, War Suit, Lex Luthor. Hello, sunshine. If you're gonna make an enemy out of Superman, you'd better be prepared to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the big blue boy scout. Starting in 1983, Supes' arch nemesis Lex Luthor crafted a series of war suits capable of doing just that. Beyond granting Lex the necessary flight capabilities, superhuman strength, and increased durability to fight Superman, the war suit's arsenal also includes a variety of kryptonite weapons. And not just of the green variety, either. What's more, the war suit sports force field generators, energy blades, and various melee weapons to give Lex the necessary tools to defeat his sworn enemy. Or at least try. You come to this planet. Declare yourself the savior of mankind. Well, I think it's time you died for your sin. Number two, Hulkbuster armor, Iron Man. All right, everybody, stand down. The name says it all. Originally conceived as an add-on to one of the previous models of Iron Man's armor, the Hulkbuster was specifically designed to combat the Hulk. In addition to making Iron Man strong enough to lift 175 tons, the Hulkbuster is equipped with rockets and prehensile tech that allows it to withstand blows from the Jade Giant by replacing damaged parts. With all the armaments one would expect from a suit designed by Tony Stark, like repulsor rays and a unibeam, the Hulkbuster is by far one of Iron Man's most powerful suits. Go to sleep, go to sleep, go to sleep. Before we reveal our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Number one, Mech Batsuit, Batman. We don't have to do this. Sure we do. On paper, Batman and Superman are far from equals in a fight, but this suit was enough to give the Dark Knight a fighting chance against the Man of Steel. Making its debut in Frank Miller's graphic novel The Dark Knight Returns, the mech suit is a bulky suit of armor which Batman dons to defend his crusade against a government-sponsored Superman. Arming Batman with enhanced strength, durability, reinforced gauntlets, and titanium-spiked boots, the mech suit helped even the playing field just enough. With it, Batman's superior martial arts skills and forethought and planning became the deciding factor in what seemed like an unwinnable battle. I want you to remember that. I wanted to remind you to stay out of my way. In all the years to come in your most private moments, I want you to remember the one man who beat you. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo and subscribe for new videos every day.